Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Jono and you're watching Fishing Adventures Hawks Bay. In today's episode I'll be installing the outboard motor on my boat including the steering uh, assembly, steering cables and the throttle controls. Today is a very special episode, it's my first sponsor. Uh, I've been sponsored by G-Tech Canopies, the canopy people to know. Um, they were so generous to donate me some money that I can uh, purchase some gear to install on my boat. Uh, their link is in the description, please check that out and give them a call. Make sure you smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the future action. Here I have the steering kit assembly. I bought this kit off trade me for $279. Uh, included in this kit is the 17 foot steering cable, the back gear assembly for the steering wheel, um, you get your nuts, bolts, and uh, the back plate and then also you have the steering wheel included in this kit over here is the center console where i'm going to be mounting the steering wheel i've already cut out where the back plate is going to fit um, just did that by putting it wrong side up and then marking it out and then what i did is use my router just to cut cut it out inside the the lines and also the hole is uh, just a 55 mil hole saw cut that right through and the steering assembly will fit in there uh, it fits in perfectly uh, what I did is um, I, I cut all of this out before I did the fiberglass so it is a little bit sticky but it goes in quite all right then I pre-drilled the holes where the nuts and bolts will go through to the back part which is the the back gear assembly for the steering wheel that will fit in the back of um, that back plate I had to put some washers at the back just to space it out because the wood I'm using is a lot thinner than um, I suppose the product was meant to be fastened to here I've got the three nuts and bolts to fasten this bracket to the center console so easy enough they just slide into the holes and they have these lock nut washers that will go onto the back so I'm just going ahead and install these three uh, nuts and bolts and tighten them up Make sure to get these in nice and tight and that's not going anywhere. Once you have these three bolts just tapped into the back steering mechanism, you can then go ahead and tighten them up. Just uh, be careful not to tighten them up too tight because it is just the brass uh, thread inside there and doing them up too tightly might, might strip it. So just hand tight enough so it doesn't move but not too tight so it strips put some lock loctite on the bolts so you know that they won't come out in the future so here we have the plastic cover that goes over the steering bracket the only thing you want to do here is just line up your two holes make sure they are nice and level and then after that you can mark out your holes and uh, put some screws
turn that up it's got a little slit in there so what you do is <coughs> this fits right in there and then that goes into one of those slots and it actually grips on the steering wheel so we want to have it up facing up that way that slots there and we'll just line that slot up and slide it in perfect and that turns your boat up on the washer up on the little lock nut and tie that on just enough it comes loose and the, that's what you want there we go pop that little cover back on and that's us done with the steering bit the correct way to measure the length of steering cable that you would require for your boat would be as follows you measure from the center of the steering where the steering is sitting to the side of your boat and that comes to 1.1 meters then from the side of your boat you measure all the way to the back of your boat and that is another 2.2 meters comes out to 3.3 meters so far then from the side of your boat you measure to the center where the motor is going to be sitting and that is another 1.1 meters so what you do is you calculate that up and then put it into feet and that's the length of steering cable that you would require for the boat when you're installing the steering cable always make sure that you install it to the starboard side of the boat so when you're doing pre-drilling pre your cables do it on the starboard side i've already pre-drilled the hole for the steering cable to come out it will run into that corner and i'll have something to cover it up in the end so what i need to do at this stage is get a hole through uh, through there and then run the cable up underneath the gunnel and all the way to the back drilled another hole at the back um, of the gunnel that will go in into that little back space and then through out through there where the motor sits right now getting to the fun part the cable um, always make sure it's got two ends this end is going to the back this will fasten onto the motor and this end will go into your little steering mechanism inside here so first of all feed it in from from the back uh, the bottom um, never ever bend this cable too much uh, make sure that if there's any bends in it it's a slight bend it's nothing 90 degrees or anything because that will just leave your um, that will leave your cable jammed and you won't be able to turn your motor so if it's a slight bend that's okay but nothing nothing too much right so the cable in you just stick your cable into that hole in there and then just start turning your steering wheel and that would, would pull it in pull it in all the way and it sorts of runs in there it goes along this gears and it comes out on this end um, you just keep on pulling it in while turning the steering wheel and um, until it is in that hole I had to make a little cut out because to straighten this this thing up so there's no major kinks or bends in, in this part so that goes in and once you've got it lined up and you give it another tug and you will hear it click into that position 
as soon as you've got that straightened up, give it a nice pull and that would lock it in place. After you've done that, you've got this little clip and that clip just pops in, pops in over there and that keeps it from coming back out. So the next step would be to center your steering wheel. So you just calculate how many turns you've got on it. <clears throat> I've got three turns on it. So one and a half would be center. So one and a half, that's one way. And then back to center and then one and a half back. And that's on the other side. So that's centered. So that's where that little pin at the back comes in real handy. If you don't get it quite center, you can shift it up to the other angle and then try and line it up that way. So I have it running down that hole. Always start from the far end, work your way back as I just found. Um, it's really difficult trying to get the back piece through that hole if you don't put it in first. So always work from the back to the front, get your cable to your steering. So we'll stick this side and through the hole in there. We'll just leave that in there until we make that hole so we can just pop it out straight through the hole instead of bringing it out and then trying to feed it back in. So I'll make another hole there and that will just pop straight into where the motor needs to go. The next part we were installing the outboard motor onto the boat. Um, I did a time lapse video on this as it was a bit of a time consuming process to get this motor onto the boat. And um, But it was fairly straightforward, nothing to it. Um, we only winched up the motor in the shed and then backed in the boat dropped the motor uh, back onto the boat and um, marked out the holes where we're going to fasten it to, drilled those out. Uh, we got some stainless steel threaded rods which we then cut and uh, fastened, fastened it in with some stainless steel nuts as well and uh, that secured the motor on the boat. Nothing to it, fairly straightforward and easy process. All up it took us about an hour and a half to get the motor installed. Uh, so as I said it was a bit time consuming but really straightforward. Now with the motor installed on the boat I can drill the hole where the steering cable would run through. Now it's just a case of uh, putting the steering cable through the hole that I've drilled and get it going out the back. Remember to put some grease into the hole that the steering arm will go into and onto the steering arm. This just makes it easier and slides in a lot easier this way. So I'm just um, hand tightening this bolt to secure it in place and if you note on the other side it is barely through so how we will fix this is by just um, centering up the steering wheel and that brings it back out um, on the other side what we then do is the steering arm will just line up uh, straighten up the motor line up the steering arm it has this washer going up the top and then that would just go into the steering um, cable doing this left-handed is a bit tough filming and doing it at the same time uh, so that just slides into the steering uh, cable then we have another washer and a lock nut that secures everything in place on the bottom last step would just be to fasten this up with a spanner and then that's the steering completed
So just testing everything, turning the steering to the right and the outboard moves to the right and then uh, turn it back to centre, the outboard is centred, steering is centred and turning the steering to the left and then also the outboard then moves to the left and back to centre and it all seems to be working, job well done.